Hello! Today I thought I would do a little bit of a thrift haul. I had to, well I didn't have to, I wanted to because I wanted to go out with my friend and okay wait, do you see this? The cat is literally, oh, oh. she was ripping apart the window. What a brat. I thought that I would talk about my thrift haul that I did. Well actually it's two separate hauls. Today's was very small and then also the one that I had earlier in the week. So it's a double haul, dual haul, a doll, a doll. So here is everything. <laughs> For starters, I got this carpet bag as part of my Halloween costume. Thank goodness I found something this size. I wasn't too worried about the print. I am going as a famous nanny since I am also a nanny. Um, I got this. This was pretty cool. It was only $7.99. Today's color was the blue tag, so anything with a blue tag was half off, I think. I don't know. I always decline a receipt, um, so I don't really know how much it was. I know today's haul, which I got a couple shirts in this bag, only came to $15. Um, whereas my last one where I bought significantly more things as well as things for my mom came to $60. First thing I got was this top. I really liked it because I've been trying to get back into, I used to do a lot of vintage looks when I was younger, and I'm wanting to get back into more of the vintage style and vintage look because a lot of those items of clothing are a lot more flattering on me because I do have an hourglass figure so a lot of the straight line and kind of baggy looks looks really weird on me and it kind of makes me look like I'm wearing a tent. So I really liked this one because I can tuck it in or I can wear it untucked. It also has like these like renaissance kind of sleeves. As soon as I put it on, I looked and I thought, hmm, I should be in the labyrinth. Take this child of mine far away from me! I also kind of look like a pirate because I took off my boots and realized I was wearing <laughs> pedal pushers. So I'm preparing for a flood. Moving on, the next thing I got was a Madewell Top. This would be good for whenever I'm at work and I'm nannying and one of the kids spits up on me or something gross like that. The next thing I got is a Chico skirt and believe it or not I used to work there. This is a size 1.5 which if I'm remembering correctly is like a size 12 to 14 with them because they have double zero zero one one point five two two point five three and four. I don't know if there's a 3.5 or not, but I got this really lovely um, silk imitation skirt. It has pleats up here at the waist and it comes down, it hits right above my ankle, which I think is really pretty. So I can wear it with boots or with flats. I can dress it up or dress it down whenever I tried it on. And I tried it on with this blouse and I thought it looked so pretty. And I was actually thinking about wearing this if I pair it correctly with another top that I have that has like the really long piratey kind of sleeves. I thought that would look really pretty if I paired it with this for Renfest. The next top I got, for some reason they're all unbuttoned, I got is also from Chico's. This time it's a size 2, which I believe is a 14-16. Don't quote me on that. This one is just a basic white blouse, but I really liked it because it kind of has like the tuxedo pleats in the front. And I got this one for Mary Poppins. Next thing I got uh, is very hairy uh, because my other cat, Hella, decided to use this as a bed. And so yeah, now it's covered in long cat hair. Uh, but I really like this because it has a little bit of a structure in the collar as well as it has like these nice um, flowy front drape thing. They're just like a design. Um, it looks like a dorsal fin. This is my color. This is the color I always wear. Um, this and blue. That was lovely. Next thing, oh I got, <laughs> I got this for whenever I do my hair up or down or whatever. So whenever women in the 40s would do different scarves and designs with their scarves for their hair, um, they often would do, there was one style where you kind of take the end of the scarf that was tied up um, at the top of your head, take the end of the scarf and kind of scrunch it up to kind of make this design. And this kind of reminded me of that and I thought it was very pretty and it's definitely a winter color, a color that I'll be wearing often this winter. Um, and I thought that would look nice because I often do my hair up in a low roll 
and that'll hide the mass amounts of bobby pins that I use in my hair at any given time. This is a Mary Poppins bag. I just keep pulling things out of it. Is there anything else that I need to be wary of? Hmm. That's nice. So there's... <laughs> uh, there is a scar, or a sock, which is actually clean. Pleasant surprise uh, from Goodwill. A Puma sock. It doesn't have a mesh or pair. Uh, and then a uh, men's styling comb. So if anyone's ever curious if Goodwill checks the bags before you purchase, it's a no. I'm blindly just sticking my hand in pockets. This is not a good thing to do. Well, at least I got the uh, shoulder strap. I just liked it because of the print. <laughs> the things you find at Goodwill. Moving on. Uh, next thing I got, this is actually from today's, so these last three things are, and well, as well as this, um, these next three things I purchased today. This is actually from Candies, but I thought it would look really good paired with a higher skirt to make it look a little bit more vintage. Um, plus I can wear it with just like everyday jeans. I can wear it with these. These are a bit more of a high-waisted jean than I could wear it with. And I love these large buttons because these kind of have like a pinup kind of style that you see in um, like pinup girl clothing, their brand. Uh, but yeah, I thought this one was really pretty and I love the squared neckline. I think that looks gorgeous. But yeah, and then the next thing is the exact same color, uh, but this is more of a work appropriate shirt just in general. Um, and it, the top button came undone. <laughs> yeah, work appropriate, right? This is just a generic top that I thought looked really pretty because I love the color. Last but not least, this is something that Doug actually hasn't seen yet. Um, and me and my friend were laughing about it in Goodwill. And Doug and I just got engaged, so I thought this would be fantastic addition to my closet. It says, best fiance in the galaxy. That's me. But yeah, and it's, uh, of course, the Star Wars print because his joke and this is going to make every single one of you absolutely hate me. I have never seen a single Star Wars film. Yeah. So if anyone wants to unfollow me now, feel free to do so. You guys know my YouTube and my Instagram. So thanks. That's all for now. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> um, thrift store looks. I didn't have this planned out enough, so I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. I excuse me. Someone is playing with my clothes. Holy BB pub. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs>